Welcome back. That's right. That's the name of the game. It's the Big Con. This is the Grift of the Year edition. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what any of this means. This is a game that uh, I I just don't I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it, and that's kind of exciting to me when I go into these not knowing what to expect from the game. However, sometimes that can be an issue. When can that be an issue? Well. It can be an issue when the game requires you to register an account to play it, which is the case with the other game this week, Town of Salem 2, which is why I will not be doing a video for it. Uh, I refuse to play any of these games that require you to register specifically for them. Uh, I think that sucks. Um, and so I won't do it because who knows, who knows what that information is used for. Uh, especially if you don't know anything about the game, I, I don't recommend going into that uh also and very ironically uh on the stream prior to trying to play town of salem 2 i literally went on a tirade about how i don't like media uh that takes place in salem massachusetts about the witch trials because those games are always inherently about how uh the women are evil despite the fact that like that's a historical thing that happened it was real and witches don't exist so it's just about people you know women and girls and children and adults in many cases, uh, just being murdered for uh, literally no reason other than religious extremism. So it's really weird when then we turn that like real historical thing that happened and then made it like, no, actually the women were the evil problem, <laughs> which is really messed up. So it, it's just the irony of that was, was not lost on me, but here we are, you know, you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of, uh, the gross con personally, but you know, what are we, what are we supposed to do? The big con it is, uh, there's definitely some style here that is working for me thus far. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm interested. I want to know what's happening. Greetings. All right. We gotta go. Oh, okay. I gotta go get to work. So interesting, so, oh, oh. Okay, the loading screen was not the high school S. Ain't no, ain't no way I just saw the high school S as the loading screen. The cool S, they call it. The only, <laughs> oh no. So is this, this is, uh, we, you know, we've already seen the VHS aesthetic, so. Is that more than an aesthetic? Is this, you know, we've got a very grunge looking, looking character here. Is this game just straight up taking place in the nineties? You know, back when workers had purple beards. All right. What's on sale? What is that? What do you think that's meant to be? Um, oh, what has a case that's like red and then a yellow look? It's like a little Vegemite, but like Vegemite or like Marmite would be like black with the yellow circle. So I don't think it's that. Anyway, is shouldn't you be at work? X or is, oh, interesting. So, so you can answer. So they give you an X answer and a Y answer for different things that she's saying. So you can answer different things that she's saying. That's an interesting way of, uh, of doing the, the, the chat choice there. I've never, I've never seen that before. That's really interesting. All right, Linda's video store, let's go. Wow, yes. pretty busy, huh? What? This, <laughs> the, ba the background here is intense. <laughs> Intense. Well, this is a. Uh, I was gonna say, if you are if you are old enough to recognize a lot of these things, well, look, I don't have to say it. All right, you feel it, and I know because I feel it. So yeah. let's just leave it at that. All right, Linda, Linda, let's. What's going on? Do I have to go? Why is the store so crowded? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm more curious about that. Alligator Banshee goes to Camp Five. Wow. Both, I love that. We rented both copies. Oh, video stores. 
Um. All right. Woohoo! Okay. I band what? camp is uh. Right. I, I I never had to go to band camp personally, but I did have to go to camp uh, at one point in my life, and what? I really did not like it. Like I don't I don't I didn't dislike the idea of camping itself just disliked what a camp is. Like, the idea of going camping, very different to going to camp, right? If you've ever been to camp, I think you will understand the distinction of going to camp versus going camping. And only you could, only you know if you like camping. Well, unless you have told someone else. But that's neither here nor there. You should keep that a secret. Um, in, ca in, in this case, though, I feel this, because I had to go to camp, and I hated it. It was... Not great. Though it was the first time uh, before they became famous. I'm going to say this was like 2002? The summer of 2002, I think it was. The first time I ever heard Tenacious D. So there you go. Little, uh, <laughs> little, little piece of history for you. <laughs> oh, no. All right, moving on. We're moving on. I uh, just need a little encouragement. All right. Okay. All right. So spy on what? me. Hmm. Okay. Empathy. I can do that. Wow. All right. Big big ups to uh big ups to so mom here. Is there anything more cerebral? All right. Okay. So do I do I do I answer <laughs> or am I just getting All right. A cerebral author masterpiece. What? Oh, so I shouldn't have I shouldn't have answered yet. So wait a minute. Oh, okay. So yeah, you gotta hide because the thing that they're saying they want isn't the thing they really want. Got it. Okay. So only only the only the smartest. Okay. So. Uh, am I am I meant to assume that the passion of sexy lagoon is the makeout movie? It, it's very shirtless. Ew. Gross. All right, sick. Look, I don't mean I don't mean to tell you how the '90s were, but let me tell you. Depending on the town you're in, and this feels like a small town. I don't think gay people were being quite so open about being gay. <laughs> this is a much this is a much better 90s than the one I remembered. Look, I think people forget the uh the prevalence of of uh of homophobia in all media. You know, people are people are 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 like, "Oh man, they're shoving shoving the gay down our throat these days." But man, let me tell you, back in the day, it was much more about shoving the anti-gay down your throat. And uh, you didn't you didn't tend to be too open about this thing back in the '90s. Not the least of which, because you know, AIDS was a thing in the '90s. Uh, people will tend people may not remember that, but uh, as someone who was around in the '90s, let me tell you, this is much nicer uh, than the actual '90s were. Uh, fun fact: Keanu Reeves in the Bill and Ted movie uh, does say the F slur. So there you go. Just to give you a little hint about the 90s. <laughs> Alright, so we need to we need to hide behind a shelf. Behind this shelf. Yeah. No, I gotta I gotta listen. Alright. Maybe behind this shelf? Where's my where's my why? Okay, it's not giving me a why here. No, he doesn't want an award-winning drama. No, you don't want that. I'm just trying to put stuff away. 
Okay, hold on. What? <laughs> I do. I do like how this looks visually, though. Like, I like. I like the the depth of this is is kind of entertaining for me. All right. What? Hmm. I gotta. I gotta get in the perfect spot so I can listen to them. I'm just putting these things. Or or. Okay. Do I have to do this first? All right, and then, okay, so I have to do this first. I get it. All right, Shakespeare. Martial arts. All right, so they want, they want martial arts. Um, live hard three, living hard ain't easy. Jean-Luc Van Slam's Hamlet. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's right, the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> All right, that'll be three bucks. Get the hell out of here. How? How about a very serious drama film? Yep. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he wants. I hide behind the thing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really want to know. Is it is it meant to be like what's eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> but it's what's eating dark spaghetti. <laughs> also, Clum Dog, great name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's it? yeah. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> good, good luck with that. All right, we're doing well. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Huh? Yeah. So this is this is some some sneaky deal. We're being we're being kicked out. Has someone has someone bought the land out from under us or something? Is that the that's a very that's a very like nineties plot, so? to be fair. Wow, it's messed up. Except what? too bad I just learned how to spy. <laughs> wow. Um Mmm, I see how it is. All right. What? I'm sorry, how much? A hundred grand in the 90s. We're so cooked. Uh. What? <laughs> well, this is a problem. Uh, Here. Mm. So, what is the easiest way to get a hundred grand in two yeah. days as a teenager in the 90s? Uh, robbing a bank. Potentially. But like a small town bank. Um, uh, you could, you could, uh, run a... What what something truly evil you could do is like a telephone phishing scheme on old people. Uh that's always a classic. Uh what other awful things could you do to raise a hundred grand in the nineties? Um because like not enough you know, no n not enough people are gonna have computers that you can do any sort of like successful like internet based uh scamming even if you could do some sort of like even if you were smart enough to do like an early internet scam there's none of people to scam yet uh, so the i think i feel like the telephone the telephone one is probably the is probably the one 
Time to time to become the garbage person. Okay, okay. Let's uh! it, very angry. I, I feel that. A lot of angst. Alright, so she's very successful at something because there's a lot of trophies up there. Alright, she's got the classic uh curved wall. You know, it's the, the ceiling. It is really loud in her room, by the way. That those trucks just like rolling past. Like ah, what? Like how are you even sleeping? Uh alright. Plays the trombone. Sad trombone. Is wait, what do you mean they? Had they already take the what? What? It, it's very, very loud, very angry. Uh, How you doing? Uh, ra rad ghost senses trouble. Maybe. Uh, how's it going, rad ghost? I... When did I take the drugs? The, I, you know what? I guess the idea is that living in the 90s was just always being on drugs, which... To be fair, for a lot of people, that was very much the case. I feel like a lot of a lot of people made it through the '90s on drugs, so I'm, I'm not super surprised here. Um, you know, me myself, I was uh, having a little bit of cough syrup on the uh, the off day, if you know what I mean. I was I was a child. I was a child. I'm not that old. I'm old, but not that old. You know. Um, borrowed money from loan sharks. Don't want to go to BAM camp. No one listens to me. Okay, well, we don't... The The bottom one isn't really true because we were... Once we listened to them, we were giving them recommendations that they did accept. So bottom one is not true. Just needless teenage angst. And we're better than that. Uh, I don't want to go to BAM camp. I don't know if that's how she feels, but if I'm the one that is suggesting she feels that way because I am this character, then that could work. But here's the real problem. What? Yeah. They're gonna make it even a stupid video vill. Come on. Maybe. Mm-hmm. It's I do like that we're just I, I like that we're acting as though Rad Ghost is a pre-established character. That's a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yep, useless advice. That's about right. Okay, I'm going to need all of you to just disregard what Rad Ghost just said, all right? This is the 90s. Disregard it, all right? Yeah. Hey. But also, it, also, uh in case you in case you were not aware, um anti, you know, reefer madness uh leading into uh incredibly harsh anti-drug campaigns in the 80s and 90s did mean uh that this was very much the <laughs> Very much the message of a lot of media in in certainly the late eighties and and most of if not all of the nineties, um, the the don't the don't do dr drugs thing very prevalent, which might be why we're all so fucking lame now. I don't know. I'm sorry for swearing. I didn't get my drugs. Uh, all right. Speaking of drugs, here is my my fluorescent mother. Jeez, mom, don't you knock? I was talking to my imaginary friend who tells me not to do drugs. How do I see him, you ask? I don't know. How do you make breakfast? Uh. Juniper? Is that the name of the camp? Uh, I can pick up extra... Well, extra shifts isn't going to help suddenly get 100 grand. I can learn, I can start rewinding the tapes. Uh, I can learn bookkeeping. Yeah. What? This is, uh, I feel like this is very different than a lot of 90s media in the sense of like, she, she likes the place that she's from and she wants to stay there. Whereas I feel like a lot of the angst in, in 90s media in my memory was much more of like, I gotta, this place is lame. I live in this like small suburban whatever and have to go to the mall every week because the only place that I can hang out with is a teen and like, now I want to get out of here. I want to, I want to get out of here and, and go to somewhere real, you know, like I, I feel like that was much more of the vibe. Uh, 
but I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's the eighties. Maybe maybe I'm mistaken the eighties for the nineties on that one. Please go to bank cam. All right, go. Ooh, okay. Okay, you know she's mothering. So. What? Oh. Slasher flick. All right. Don't forget that rad fanny pack. Uh, rad fanny pack is the new name of this channel. I... Means something very different in the UK. Anyway. Uh huh. <laughs> this mom stuff is unrad. Take. Take the trump. Take the trump out. <laughs> Oh, the trombone was still going. All right. Maybe it's in the maybe it's in the trash. No. Oh, hello. Um the first number. Okay, do we think it's 000 666 or 420? 4 420 is like kind of a later thing though. Like 420 doesn't become a thing until the 2000s. But then again, I was a child in the 90s, so what do I know? Um, I'm gonna guess, I'm, but like 666, like the, the 90s didn't have too much like, like satanic panic in media the way that decades earlier did. Um, you know what, let's go with 000. Fuck. <laughs> Well, my my theory is gone. <laughs> it's 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 you know what? Just five, and uh, and and uh, one. Huh? All right, I'm gonna try again. Six. What? No. No. Sixty nine, dude. Sixty nine, dude. Wait, huh? was was 420 an option, by the way? I'm just realizing because there was a z zero on the last one. Okay, no, it was not. All right. All right, so we need to find the code for the briefcase. And I'm getting my steps in for the day. Oh, you're... Rad Ghost is bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> Dig. All right. Thanks, Red Ghost. Nailed it. Soul, you know what? Soul jockey. It's a cool term. It. Okay, I was not expecting that to be the interaction. That text d vanished instantly. I just, I just got some free corn. What's up, dude? How you doing, Mitch? Man, rat race. Rat race is a term that I have not heard in over a decade, for sure. What? Didn't there used to be a show called Rat Race? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Invest in some local businesses. Golden. You know what? Ahead of her time. Ahead of her time, not enough people coming around to the bidet, especially not in the 90s. Um. You know, it's, it's, it's a look. It, wh what was his name? Mr. Del Bianco? Mr. Del Bianco. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. Take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go get yourself an ice cream from Jeff's place. Oh. Uh -huh. Rat thing. Uh, all right. Go. <laughs> Go buy an ice cream from a JoJo character. All right. Is, no, I'm not. Oh, hey, wait, wait. Come back. Hey. Okay, I, I, I did that. You know. Wait, wait. 
Wait, wait, I just did that though. No, no, no. Yeah. I need that $5. I need that $5. You don't get it. I need a hundred grand. Oh no. Am I, can I not get the $5? Cause I already did it. Come on. Maybe we could. Maybe we could what? What was he about to say? Um, all right. The ball did not come all the way down here. I get, oh. Okay, the edge of the world, like Silent Hill. Very scary. Oh, All right. Okay, it's a demon child. What? Woo! See you, See you around, sticker kid. Oh, I found the ball. Yeah. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, but the college fund... The college fund could go to, you know, other... Avenues, technically. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is well, you know what? Mom with a vision. And speaking of vision, from husk till dawn. Hmm. I wonder what that's a a play on. I'm now trying to imagine certain scenes from that movie. But Quentin Tarantino is uh, a husk of corn instead. And let me tell you, just as uncomfortable. One scene in particular I can think well, of uh, <laughs> from Dust Till Dawn. All right, I got a tennis ball. There you go. Rad. Five bucks, let's go. Let's go, that's ice cream money. That's ice cream money right there. All right. Oh, this is where I started. Yo, what's up? So is this like yeah. a is this like a like a triangle friendship situation where you've got like the girl with the the like purplish hair is like is like basically the best friend of these other two characters and so it's like this weird triangle where like these two aren't friends but she is friends with is is one of those oh or is it that they're now best friends and it was previously you and this person so it's just a different form of that triangle either way i see what you mean awkward he's oh that's a sticker that's a cool car and now it's a now it's my car yeah. all right hold on we'll, we'll buy some we'll buy some ice cream in a sec i'm just gonna give this uh right. terrifying child a sticker I guess you need all of the stickers before Sticker Child will uh, get out of my nightmares. You know, one of these has to do something. All right, let's get an ice cream. I don't think we need to do much more than this because now you are, you know, you've clearly seen what this game is and what the style is. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, if this is your type of thing, well, guess what? It is seemingly a lot of that type of thing. Uh, have an ice cream with me. Vanilla swirl, chocolate what? dip. Mm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's, hey, would you like an ice cream? I'm not going to let you give me an ice cream. Why? I don't know you. It's like, welcome to purchasing food? Like, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't know what you say to that. Um, I'm not hungry. That's a you know, that's fair enough. So wait, what? I pressed Y instead of X, but I don't know. You know what? I'm still not in the mood for ice cream. 
Yes. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm. how, how could you? <laughs> well, what? All right. So we've got Ted here selling. I oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, it just turns around. I was wondering if it was just going to keep going. Uh, what about boss? There we go. What's up? Uh, so what's up, Allie? The man got you down. What the heck? So it's 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 interesting the way that they they kind of give two parts of the the dialogue that you can respond to. I'm not sure how much it changes between them, obviously, but it is an interesting way of mechanically differing it. <laughs> Ice cream's not my passion. All right, All right Rich, oh. I need to know that. Well, uh... They kicked me out because I didn't want to go to college. All right, oh. kicked you out. Oh, wait, is he? He's literally about to be like, it's time for you to take up a life of crime. Well, uh... Let's go. Let's go. It's crime time. Uh... You're re recycling. I don't think I ever heard of what recycling was in the 90s. I'm not going to lie. Uh... All right. Don't knock it till you tried it. All right, so how would you try it? All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, what? <laughs> Pickpocketing. We're doing. Wow. What? I'm not going to let the man win. That's right. I'm going to start. I'm going to steal a hundred grand out of the pockets of random people. Uh, also, 100% we're taking money from this mother with a child and then and then leaving, clearly. Yeah, what's up now? What's up now? What's up now? I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best there ever was. It was yeah. very easy, actually. What? Uh -huh. Um. Probably this. Probably this, based on what we've what we've seen thus far. Exactly. I should kill the loan sharks. I will steal their life. Huh? A but. Uh, what? That's right. I already got one. <laughs> you gotta just. Wait, wait. So there we go. I even. I even. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Is this. <laughs> wait. Yeah. You know what? We're the, we, we, we've come this far, so. All right. Well, there you go. Setting up what could be the next part of this uh, of this game. We're off to do a life of crime, um, finding bus tickets, stealing from single mothers or at least just regular mothers, kicking trees. The world is changed. Oh, he has my bus and my ticket. We even know what we're doing. We've got a child, demon child who wants stickers, and I'm standing here in the middle of the road wondering what went wrong with my life and was it on that fateful day that my mom would rather send me to band camp than save our video store i don't know what will you discover this is pretty cool um and i i definitely think it's it's worth checking out again like if you're into this style i can't see why you wouldn't want to check this out uh and who knows 
you know, how much further it keeps going, I guess. That's kind of the, the fun part about it. Anyway, if you like the 90s, uh, if, you're, if you're not from the 90s <laughs> and you like the 90s, or if you're from the 90s and like the 90s, well, here you go. Just for you. And that's going to do it for me from the 90s. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great week, everybody. <laughs>